Good morning. I'm Robbie Crispin, and this is Quick Court, the fastest way to justice. Jimmy, all the court wants to know, how did you get involved in such an elaborate case? It all started a month ago, just after winter break. One day, I was on the field just walking around killing time. Everyone else was off doing other things. Well, almost everyone. A kid with orange hair walked up to me. I never saw him before. Hey, I'm Sammy. You look cool. Who are you? I'm Jimmy. He explained that he and his dad had moved quite a bit and that he was new at school. Apparently, he was also now in my class. We had a lot to talk about. We both led busy lives, even though we were both just ten. I forgot how bored I was, and we chatted until the bell rang. That's when I found out he sat right behind me. This guy was really good at not being seen. Hey, Jimmy, how do you do these problems? I was stuck on them on the homework. Are you serious? They're easy. Let me show you. So we worked together on the schoolwork, too. We actually finished before most of the other students, even before Gary. It was soon lunchtime, and the day had been great. To make it greater, they had cookies in the lunch line. But I had to pay extra. That's when Sammy pulled out a few bucks and bought one for me. I was surprised. Hey, it's the least I can do. It's only my second day here, and I already have a really good friend. Hold on a second. I'm at the local newspaper, and I'm supposed to cover this case and the events that caused it. I'm not here to record some heartwarming story of friendship and blah. Shut up, newspaper guy. This is all really important to the story. But I will skip the next few days. My mom had to work late that Friday, and Fred was meeting with an old friend, so I asked Sammy if I could hang out at his house that afternoon. Um, yeah, that sounds great. No one's ever hung out at my house before, though. That's okay. We can watch TV or play games or something. I'm sure you have some pretty cool stuff. So I rode his bus and went home with him. I expected his house to be a little nicer, but it was fine. Then we went to his room, and he showed me some of his stuff. But then... I saw something under his bed. Whoa, Sammy, where'd you get these? My dad got them for me. Really? Well, they're nice, but I would have asked for a new game box. Stop, okay? You can't tell anyone, but my dad had to take the jewels. Believe me, we aren't happy about it, but we're really tight on money. He can't find any job, just don't tell anyone. Not even Fred? He's my personal attorney, he's my best friend. Especially not him. He's a lawyer. I'm your best friend too now. Now, I do have a game box somewhere around here. The rest of the afternoon was very awkward. At last, Fred picked me up. Sammy warned me one more time and also thanked me. Hmm, his dad looks familiar. Was it fun? I guess. Something wrong? And did you catch his last name? His dad looks so familiar. I'm sorry, Sammy, but one question led to another, and it turns out Fred helped bust your dad a couple years back. The evidence shows that these are the missing gems, and as you know, you do have a record. Any final thoughts? I thought you were my friend. I am, and that's why I decided to tell Fred. I didn't want to lie to him, and I didn't want you doing something you knew was wrong. I hope you'll thank me someday. Goodbye, Sammy.